Woo. Yes, yes. Let's go. It's that time of the morning. <laughs> Up and ready. <laughs> Up and ready. You know, like I said, the yoga, the meditation, the wula. You know, I'm out again. You know, I had a long, easy weekend, you know. You know, around 20 Saturday, 20 Sunday, you know, that's all I just did. I'm actually just How's running every out? day. Just to see, you know, with yoga and meditation and the diet that I'm on. You know, still early out here. Workout. You know, <laughs> I'm looking, uh, <laughs> it's looking good right now. Because, uh, yeah, too early, no one is out here. It's funny because uh, when I'm doing this, jogs or whatever I call it I reflect on a lot of things and the thing that sparked my emotion for today was non-judgment you know non-judgment of self non-judgment of others non-judgment of other people religion culture Resuming workout. how they look and it's really funny because when I'm just thinking about it this morning I was like I cannot fathom the reality behind how people will look at a certain group of people and say their way is not the right way, <laughs> you know, and pausing workout, call other people's way barbarian. I really think that it just doesn't make no sense to me. I cannot find a place to comprehend it except to think of it as a delusion and ego that is so unnormal behind recognition. So to judge another person, you know, because uh, for example, you know, uh, my parents are from a different traditional beliefs. And the myth that has been put behind, especially anything African or something like yoga, what we don't understand, it is amazing, you know, to judge somebody that way. And especially when it comes to different things, you know, to judge people for the way they look, to judge people for their religion, their culture, their status. And this is just mind blowing, amazing. Because at the end of the day, we are going back into this ground. <laughs> Ain't that some biscuit? It doesn't matter who you are. This ground is going to take you. It doesn't matter. So, why in the biscuit do we judge? We are in the age of information right now. You want to learn about different cultures? Google that biscuit. <laughs> uh, uh, I mean, no offense. We can Google stuff like, yeah, porn site and all that. Well, Google other cultures. You could Google anything these workout. things that you want to learn about. Google other traditions. Google other religions. There are millions of religions on this planet. And for one individual to actually, actually think their way is the way. Now that is wasn't causing all this drama that we're having. Causing workout. That's what's causing all this fight. This is the new era of elevation. Resuming workout. The new era of not participating in what has happened to our ancestors the new era to change our ancestors because whatever your ancestors or your great great ancestors have done you and I have the opportunity not to repeat the same thing we have the opportunity to treat one another better you know to Time. not judge what? People, Pausing workout. you know for their status their situation and I know uh, Christmas and all that is over right now the holidays don't just feel the homeless people 
in Christmas, if you really want to help the homeless, go to the shelter every week. Because those people who are in the shelter, this is just their journey. Because I know that it's all over now. No more going to the shelter. No more feeding the homeless. If you really want to feel the homeless, go to the shelter every single week and feel the sh homeless. Let the shelter be your church. Let's change the way we think this year. Let the shelter be your church. You want to feel the homeless? Don't just feel them over Christmas and Thanksgiving. <laughs> Let's do it year round. Because homelessness, amazing. Resuming workout. Homelessness changed the way I look at life. To just feel the homeless over the holidays is a waste of time. You really want to help the homeless? Pausing workout. Feed the homeless every single weekend. Don't just go over Christmas because of your emotions. You know, let this year be the year. And I'm talking about all the so-called spiritual people. Because we emphasize on this spirituality, what I call Gabogini. But we got to start participating in it properly. Let's make our world a better place. Resuming workout. Today, I am all about non-judgment. And that's why I run every day. Because when I run every day, I am reminded of other people who are in the hospitals. Pausing workout. You know, shelters. You know, Resuming homeless. Resuming workout. People who, once upon a time, can think, read, eat like me but for some reason that we do not know stop all those activities I come out every day to jog because I know two years ago there was a guy that can run way faster than I am a lot more faster than I can but today due to some what I don't know he can't do it no more Let's stop the judgment. Say hello to people who don't look like you. <laughs> Pausing workout. Don't let the accent fool you. Because Resuming you know workout. what? At the end of the day, we all think alike. So let me keep on running. I keep saying to the whole world, run with me. This is not just running. This is thinking. The new elevation starts from now. Raise your vibration. We talk about this vibration. We go everywhere you go is vibration, this vibration, that well, let's raise it. Let's move our body together. You don't have to run, but you can move your body. So I'm gonna leave that to the universe. Workout. So today, my motive, none judgment. It's going to be hard, but I'm gonna practice non-judgment today. One love.